Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, April the 7th, and we are going to work some more on some letter names and sounds and some new words today. Let's sing our ABCs. The ABCs are the letters that we use to read and write. Watch my mouth and sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now let's say the ABCs. The ABCs are the letters that we use to read and write. Watch my mouth. I'll say a letter and then you say it after me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now let's look at the ABCs. There are two shapes for each one. I'll say the name and then I'll point to the shapes. You say the name and you point to the shapes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now let's think about sounds. You have a picture of a net, gum, an igloo, and pie. Point to the, get my tool here, give me just one second. Okay, point to the net. The word net starts with the sound n. Mm. Point to the word, excuse me, point to the picture, gum. The word gum begins with the sound g. Point to the igloo. The word igloo begins with the sound i. And finally, point to the pie. The word pie begins with the sound p. Now let's use some other words. Say the word name. Name net, name gum, name igloo, name pie. Which two start with the same beginning sound? Yes, name net. Good job. Garbage, garbage net, garbage gum, garbage igloo, or garbage pie. Yep, you should have chose garbage gum. Pack, pack net, pack gum, pack igloo, or pack pie. If you picked pie, you're correct, 
both begin with a p sound. Illustrator, that's kind of a tough one. Illustrator net, illustrator gum, illustrator igloo, or illustrator pie. You should have chose igloo. Illustrator igloo begin with the same beginning sound. Napkin, napkin net, napkin gum, napkin igloo, or napkin pie. That's right, napkin net, begin with the same beginning sound. Inch, inch net, inch gum, inch igloo, or inch pie. That's right, inch igloo. Geese, geese net, geese gum, geese igloo, or geese pie. Geese gum is correct. Pale, pale net, pale gum, pale igloo, or pale pie. You got it, pale pie. Imagine, imagine net, imagine gum, imagine igloo, or imagine pie. Imagine igloo is the correct answer. The next word is peak, peak net, peak gum, peak igloo, or peak pie. Peak pie. Neat, neat net, neat gum, neat igloo, or neat pie. Neat net is correct. Indoors, indoors net, indoors gum, indoors igloo, indoors pie. You should have chose igloo, indoor igloo. Garden, garden net, garden gum, garden igloo, or garden pie. You got it, garden gum. Ink, ink net, ink gum, ink igloo, or ink pie. The correct choice was igloo. Ink igloo begin with a I sound. Gate, gate net, gate gum, gate igloo, or gate pie. That's right, gate gum. You guys are so good at this. Need, need net, need gum, need igloo, or need pie. Should have chose need net. Porch, porch net, porch gum, porch igloo, or porch pie. Porch pie is correct. And your final one is ghost. Ghost net, ghost gum, ghost igloo, or ghost pie. That's right, ghost gum is correct. Good job this morning. Okay, now I want you to think about letters. You have four letters today. These two are named N. Point to your N on your screen. These two are named G. Point to the G, please. These are named I. Point to the I. And finally, these are named P. Point to the P. I will say a letter name and I want you to point to the correct shape. G. If you chose that one, you are correct. I. Yep, right there. N. That last one should be P. Good job. These letters have sounds. These two say N. Point to your ends and say N. These two say G. Point to your G's and say G. These two say I. Point to your I's and say E. And finally, these two are named P. Point to your P's and say P. Now I'm going to say a sound and I want you to choose the letter that represents that sound. E. That's right, you should have chose the letter I. P, P, P. Yep, 
That's P. Mm. That's right. That's net. G, G, G. Yes, that's G. Good job. Now let's think about words. You have a new word today sitting right here at the end. And that word is that. Everyone say that with me. That. All right. There are three sounds in this let in this word. The TH say the, the A says ah, and the T says t. The at. Everyone try those sounds. The at that. It has three sounds, but it has four letters. Name the letters with me. T H A T. That. Good job. Now I want you to look at all the words that we have been learning and the new word that you've learned today. I'm going to say a word and I want you to point to the correct word. Is. Good job. You. In. That. Yep, it's our new letter. The. Good job. Let's read them again one more time from left to right. The in is you and that. Now let's think about a sentence. The sentence here says, you ride that bus to school. Now I want you to say that. You ride that bus to school. Good job. Now I'm going to show you how I read it. I'm going to point to each word as I read it. And I'm going to do what is called tracking. We've been working on that a lot in school. Just track the words as we read. You ride that bus to school. Does anyone see our new word today? Yep, it's the third word in the sentence right there. Let's read it one more time. You ride that bus to school. Great job today. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.